Start of the game at the MCG. Umpires Kerry and McKernan in charge. Melbourne going left to right in the first quarter. And Collingwood trying to break a two-game losing streak. Alan Richardson kick up towards half forward. It's chopped off back there by Neitz. Good hand pass. Steins paddles the ball on. Viney, short pass, ill-directed. Charging out at Grinter. A good hand pass. Away to Road on the forward line. Love it. A good hand pass to Phoebe. Left foot kick. And the D's are on the board. Matthew Phoebe. Good start, Drew. Reason there. They had someone coming out of that uh, congested area. First option each time with the handball. Then Grinter gave them a strong lead. Here he comes through the... Slightly congested area, good quick hands, and a finish under pressure there. Well done. 29 years of age, Stephen Stretz to half back Christian, centre of the pack. He thumps it down. Stephen Phoebe gets it further afield to uh, Neitz. As Melbourne bring it out of defence, that is pinpoint accuracy. That was by Gilbert. It's at half forward. This is Obbs. Beautiful pass to Jakovic. Good lead, Alan Jakovic. He's playing on. He's got a loose man. Unselfish play, Jakovic. And he's found Todd Viney. Now, Todd Viney can be an indifferent kick. Now, he's kicking it in short. Another loose man to Melbourne. Well, Lee Matthews will not like that. Who is it? Rodney Grinter. Well, Pete, you're a full forward. Would you have passed it off like Jakovic did when he was 45 metres well, from I think he, I Of course think he, he would have. I think he had to then, uh, Drew. And to answer the question, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Grinter from about 35 metres, chips it in, it's high, it's a goal. Two goals straight to Melbourne. They lead Collingwood on two behind. A good lead-up play too by Melbourne. That delivery from half-back, fantastic to the leading player. Just allows you then to get the ball off cleanly. First option, and the player's prepared to run. Viney, Grinter and Jakovic unselfishly passing the ball off. Yeah, Mickey started in the back pocket just to try and upset. Exactly. Your arm set up. Monkhorst might have got a hand to it, but Glenn Lovett for Melbourne gets the kick to centre wing. Lyon knew he had the free kick and goes back to take it from centre wing. He's looking to kick it long. Jakovic from behind McEwen. Oh, and a top mark by Rhodes. Enjoying a bit of a run on the forward line, Drew. Jeez, he'd love this. Don't Backman love to get down forward, Ross? I would. Well, Peter Road, who was so long at Carlton, and now at Melbourne, he's kicked only 12 goals in his career, and he's looking for his first goal this season. He's kicked a point this season. This is his 10th game for the year. Will it be his first goal? Good on you. Great start to the Ds. Yes, and the free kick coming to Gary Lyon because he's in front. McCartney infringing. And he just was a bit late getting the ball onto Jakovic, who'd led well, so the high ball came through. And a bit of road there. Lovely mark. Good stuff. Behind Morwood. Underrated player, Peter Road. The chance. Kick by Obst is well directed. And Road really enjoying the movement up on the forward line. Peter Road goes wide. Grinter behind this time. Oh, he got to the front. That's a top mark. He had no hope from behind Morwood. One-hander in the end. That's what we're talking about. He has got skill. Look at this. One at the front posse. Eye on the footy. Both of them. Morwood hanging on. Right. Oh. <laughs> How did that stick? Oh, great effort, wasn't it? Well, Rod Grinter has kicked one already. And he's kicked two. And Melbourne are four goals to nothing. Their forward line structure, Drew, is very good. They're playing up the ground line on the half forwards, allowing some space at the back for Djakovic and Grinter. And that combo is working very well at the moment. Terrific mark. And that's not an easy kick from there. He is a very good kick of a football, Rodney Grinter. So, back in the centre. It's uh, Monkhorst wins it, but Melbourne have been getting it out. Here they go again. Neats killing Steins. Oh, look at the skill of Lyon. How did he get out of that? Well played by Lyon. Peter Road again. Oh, they've got problems down here on the forward line, the Magpies. 
On to Matthew Phoebe. Phoebe a daisy cutting pass and hits Andrew Obst on the chest at 55 metres. Oh, gee, Collingwood will have to get something going shortly. A change in the back line. Krasiska has gone on to Grinter. So here's the kick. Andrew Obst, a booming kick. A magnificent kick by Obst. He's dumped it. Well, this is a blitz. Andrew Obst has kicked the 60-metre kick. It sailed over the fence. 5-1 plays three points. Yes, and getting out of the centre, and the skipper, as you called it, Pete, just did very well. Their line to get out of the congested area. He shouldn't have got through. And his lovely kick to set up the play. Finishes with Obst. Great kick. Well, we've been playing just 17 minutes here, and Collingwood, who were flag favourites three weeks ago, haven't scored a goal. Melbourne blitzing them. Rowe spoiled by Phoebe. Stephen Phoebe out of defence. Short pass up to centre wing. Rowe in between two Collingwood players. In Deviney. Melbourne playing premiership footy at the moment. Lyon, great take. Off to Obst. Keeps it in front of himself. The hand pass is good. Jakovic. 30 metres out. Knocked okay. over by Francis. And Jakovic will have a free kick for goal. Uh, Collingwood is shell shocked at the moment. This is an absolute blitz by Melbourne. Well, their skill level, Pete's been terrific there. Clean ball handling, line particularly, just grabbing the ball and obvious free kick there. Look at this guy on his own, Hopgood. Won't need him. Oh, he'll kick he this. could have given it. Could have. He'll kick this. He was 30 metres clear. At the moment, it's 14 marks to four, 35 kicks to 18, 23 handballs to 14. All Melbourne's way. Collingwood have hardly seen the leather, and Jakovic kicks for the Demons' sixth goal to nothing. He's got it. Thirty-seven to three. And if you'd seen this scoreline three weeks ago, you wouldn't have believed it. Not at all. There are a couple of words exchanged there between Jagovic and Francis, which we can't repeat. I think you'll find Mickey Gafer on the ground very, very shortly. They've started him on the bench. I thought he'd line up on Jagovic. Maybe they're worried about the free kick situation. Rock free play. kick. Yep. Off he goes. Is he play? No, he's got to come back behind the mark. But he handballed it away, Ross, didn't he? Yes, knew he was under pressure. That's clever stuff from the 19 year old. So, Paul Hopgood. Oh, look at this. A loose man in Stein, centre of the ground. Well, what can Collingwood do? In towards half on Lyon. Uncontested. Not good play. Todd Viney. The chip pass. Jakovic. Oh, he's got it, Jakovic. An open goal looms. Another goal for the Demons. Goal number seven. I have never seen anything like this. Well, the catalyst for this, Drew, really has been Gary Lyon at centre half forward. He's given them a target, and his one grab play has been terrific. Other than Steins, who's always going to get those kicks midfield when the opposition ruckman drops back around centre half forward to try and cut off the lead from the full forward. And look at that clever stuff. Kept his feet. Well played. Cool overcast day in Melbourne. It comes down to Lovett. Kicked by Glenn Lovett. Up towards the 50. Well done by Hopgood. The junior star, Teal Cup level. And a top mark taken by Jakovic. Yes, made look easy there, Drew. You're quite right there. But well played also by the young fellow Hopgood. Terrific pass, but those marks aren't easy to take under pressure. And clean grab. Alan Jakovic playing just his fourth game this year. Kicks his third goal. And that breaks a run by the Pies. And again, the importance of getting the ball out of the centre, get it moving quickly. Targets across half forward, mobile people. people. And to finish off with a quality player like Jakovic at full forward. They needed that one, Melbourne. Collingwood had been well on top since about the 15 minute mark of the. 12 minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Jakovic. Burst the tackle, loses the ball. It comes to Tinge. He's got time, but it's smothered. Free kick. Yeah, free kick to Jakovic. Francis threw him to the ground there. Silly play by Francis. All Jakovic was doing was shepherding his teammate. 
just don't do that. And the ball was smothered. Chingay's kick too, that nice. easy kick for goal. Right. Jakovic for number four. Goal. Two in each quarter to Alan Jakovic. He hasn't got brother Glenn to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the funniest thing. There it is here. There's the, the shepherd. All he was yeah, doing yeah. at Francis just threw him to ground. Yep. That's, yeah. They're supporters of 15 clubs loved it. <laughs> They're cruel, these football supporters. On centre wing, there's Andrew Obbs still going on with a terrific play by Obbs. Look at him go. Tony Francis, well done. Almost a free kick to Francis. Alan Richardson kicks it straight to uh, Lyon. Lyon to Todd Viney, but Andrew Obbs... That was a tremendous effort. Over the back, here's Rowe. He's got backup support. Phil Gilbert's going to have a shot for goal. The full back kicks a goal and puts it through. What a performance. Well, is that team inspiring stuff by Phil Gilbert? And he loves it. Have a look at him. Yes, and certainly he would. It's his first score for the year. Including points, so goal. Opens with a clean record. Good stuff. Look at this play. Ops, fantastic. Initially, then Gilbert, very deliberate shot at goal outside 50. Great kick. He's been playing pretty good football at the moment. An ordinary kick, Ronnie McEwen. A very poor kick, in fact. Matthew Phoebe. Danger here, the chip pass. In the words, Jakovic. Oh, he's marked. And it all started from a poor kick. In. That's all it needs. Get the ball out of the danger area as far as you can. It's a good mark from Jakovic. Question well, from McEwen. It's two of them, Ross, where he's plucked down yes. when you thought McEwen was in the position to spoil. So four goals to Alan Jakovic, and this exciting full forward will kick from 45 metres, directly in front. The crowd is hushed. There's the kick from Jakovic. It's a goal, all right, right through the middle. So Melbourne kick clear once again. They have certainly steadied. 11-5, plays 6-9. Yes, an important contribution from Jakovic. Five goals. Getting close to halftime, three in this quarter to settle his side, as Pete said. The game's ebbed and flowed a bit to each side. Each side taking 10 or 15 minutes. And Jakovic, as we mentioned there, it's a very good mark. Well, they've got to make a move down there, double. It's like balling in Perth. Yeah. Very good at the Wacker. Kicking straight up the ground. Monkhorst tapping on. Saunders goes to ground. Russell's hand pass, intercepted by Steins. Now Melbourne with a chance. Viney, kick to centre half forward. Not a bad effort. Hopgood might have taken the mark. Tingay, a backhander. Is it a throw? Hop oh, good. was that a throw? That's the question mark. I think it's more of a hit than a scoop. Oh, I thought he scooped it up. A backhanded scoop. And the siren sounds for half time here. And Alan Jakovic is lining up his sixth goal. And the Collingwood player saying, Prasiska saying, well, that's a scoop. So I grew up in Queensland. We used to pass the ball in rugby like that. That certainly looked a backhanded uh, flick from the ground, didn't it? But the umpire had a good view of it. Well, Jakovic's best haul this year in the seniors is six goals. He might equal it to half time here with this kick. But Jakovic stopping and saying, This guy's too close on the right. Is it Shane Watson? Yeah. Well, you want to kick he the goal. He's very, now. very close, uh, Watson, isn't he? Well, he'd want to kick the goal, Pete, after all this. Yeah, but look how close he is, Ross. Well, there it is. A throw, a scoop, a tap. What do you reckon? Jakovic for number six. Close. A goal. Look at him. What a finish to the half. Well, Melbourne kicked the first seven goals. Collingwood kicked the next five. But Melbourne have steadied. And at halftime, lead 12-6 to 6-9. And Jakovic is already having a softie in the dressing room. So half forward for Melbourne. Can they retaliate with a goal? Oh, well done by Todd Viney on the road. Road has a kick and goal. It's floating through. Oh, great effort, Peter Road. Top goal. Well, he's kicked two great goals, Peter Road. And that is a team lifter. 13 6 to 7 9. Yes, and watch this again on replay. 14 possessions for Peter Road. Really enjoying the run on the forward line. Making the most of his opportunities, I said during the second quarter, often when backmen go to the forward line and they haven't had much of a chance up there. Probably they've capitalised a lot better. There's Monkhorst, the big thump. 
Now, the quick kick is by David Neitz to half. Well, Lyon back with the flight eyes on the ball, and Tony Francis didn't have much hope there. Now, Gary Lyon chips it in. Djakovic couldn't mark. Tap down, Glenn Lovett. Now Djakovic, around the corner, a chance for a mark by Grinter. It's a goal to Djakovic. That's a freak goal, Pete. Oh, good shepherding, Grinter. He's kicked seven goals, the full forward. Alan Djakovic, flamboyant as ever, and he loves it. Look at him. Watch this tap here. The ball's a punch coming from Djakovic. Good tap by Tinge. Team play. Love it. That's clean to Djakovic. That's a terrific kick. Well, that's seven goals to Djakovic. He's the man given the chance to have a run. Long. Row the only chance for the Pies. Paid Robbins the mark. Paid the mark. Not a very long. Stephen Tinge goes wide, no, rather Tinge takes it from Stephen Phoebe. Around the outer side, Road. Enjoyed the role of a forward today. Dodges past Gafer. One out is Lyon. Now he's doubled up. Punch towards goal. Chance for Djakovic. Eight. <laughs> Spectacular goal kicking. Spectacular entertainment, Alan Djakovic. <laughs> I think he lifted his jumper there. He's got some fix on the front of his jumper. I think he just had a bit of a sniff there. But good contest here by Lyon. And this is clever stuff. Could have bent down to pick it up. Socket it off the ground. There it is, sniffing the fix. Looked like a crook going into the Oh, he is a character. Eight goals. You've got to hand it to him. He is an exciting player, Djakovic. There's Cow. Magnificent hand pass to Stretch. Stretch will kick this. Here's a very long kick from 45 metres. Stephen Stretch says, thank you very much. I'll have a goal. He is a magnificent kick on the run. And I think Collingham are in big strife now. They trail by seven goals. Well, this is a great effort by Melbourne. Collingwood started this quarter as if they meant business and were going to get themselves back in the game. But to Melbourne's credit, they just kept persisting. Their run's been terrific. And players have used their brains and run intelligently, not just all over the place, but two position to space. They've made space by running away from the forward area to giving Djakovic and Grinder room. Great footy. 107 to 65. This is one of the boilovers of the season. Stretch, kick the last goal. McEwen in front, he'll need to take this mark. Off hands to Lyon. The hand pass to Grinter, and he gets another one. That's three and two minutes to the Demons. And drew Jim Steins in the centre and three occasions just gone up with his left hand, tapped the ball to himself, just turned out of the centre, got the ball moving forward. The last thing would Collingwood would want would be a goal before three-quarter time. Here's the kick out there to Phoebe, Matthew Phoebe. Oh, he plays on, Cal, Cal runs. And oh, what's happening? To 50 metres. 50 metres. Oh, this is the nail in the coffin job. This is definitely the nail in the coffin. A 50-metre penalty, and Melbourne will kick from 25 to 30 metres out, and to take it will be Matthew Phoebe. I think the nails are all in, and the coffin's in the hearse. Well, good performance by Melbourne, Ross. Yes, Neil Barn would be certainly wondering, or whilst he must be very pleased with this, why they couldn't perform this a bit early in the season. If they can continue on. Well, Matthew Phoebe's kick one. He is directly in front. He stabs. And he has goal. So, as the time clock shows, well, still ticking down, in fact, the time clock, and stops on three seconds to three-quarter time. And look at that. Great performance, Melbourne. Well on top. Now, here's Peter Rowe. Saunders caught. Gets it to Tony Shaw. But his quick kick lands with Glenn Lovett, one of the best players on the ground. Glenn Lovett to half forward. Up they go. It's a loose ball. It's with Melbourne. Tingay shuffles it out. Stretch. Tingay. Tingay looking for a hand pass. He gives it out wide. Here's a chance for Rodney Grinter on the left foot. Oh. And he slams it right through the middle. And he's a happy man. 
that's a steady up. He's kicked four goals, Rodney Grigger. And again, the Demons lead by seven. And again, Pete, good play by Tingo. The quick hands, just the first option. The instinctive thing, they get the ball moving. Make sure Collingwood have to keep chasing. That's a great kick by Gritter. That's a classy kick. Seven kicks, four goals, Rod Grinter. A quick hand pass from Watson. No, it wasn't. It was from Saunders out to Prisiska. Rowe. Been very busy, hasn't had a lot of kicks. Oh, look at the Phoebes. This is uh, Stephen Phoebe on the top, Viney. The kick wide. He finds stretch. Danger again for Collingwood. The run is on, the chip pass is on, and there he is as he marked it. Yes, he has, Alan Jagovic. Now, oh, he's going to chip it in short here. The lead. Ah, oh, good play by Jagovic to Lyon. And Gary Lyon has marked 35 metres from goal, almost directly in front. Yes, he's got himself down to full forward, Gary Lyon. He's just struggling a bit. Uh, his legs are very weary. A bit of cramp. That's why he's got his socks down. But he really helped set it up in that first quarter and a half. He was the catalyst across half forward, just gave them something to kick to. Got the footy the majority of times when it came toward him and fed it off to the right option. So Gary Lyon, the Melbourne captain, first goal of the game if he kicks this one. He's directly in front. I think it's a goal, all right. Goal up by did not move, right through the middle. Well, Melbourne are safe now. They lead by eight. Well, that's got to be a coach pleaser. And the full forward who's got eight gives the short pass to the skipper. <laughs> no, that's good stuff. Getting back to Glenn Lovett, Drew, you mentioned uh, what a terrific player he's been. Just admire a fellow who's worked so hard at his game off the field, just given it everything he's got, and the rewards have come to him on the footy match, on the ground in each game. Seven handballs. But I reckon there'd be 30 other times this will be a free kick to Steins, I think, for too high. But he does all the hard work at Ops, yes. doesn't he, Ross? Yes, as they say, those little one-percenters. Oh, little knock-ons and uh, charging in the packs that uh, don't go on the stats. Now, that's Tingay to half four. Oh, great mark. This is Graham Yates on the ground. First run for the game in this term. He's going to run around and have a shot himself on the left foot. Back towards the pocket. Djakovic and McEwen underneath it. Still a chance for Rode. Peter Rode on the left foot has slammed another one through the middle. You wouldn't believe this. <laughs> Peter Rode has kicked his third goal and he loves it. Yes, yeah, so Brad Rode's been taken off for that indiscretion on the outer flank and Williams is back on. Just got his kick away, Yates, in time, but the bounce of the ball favouring Rode, who is behind there. Shaw couldn't get his hand to it, and they are hot. Some great kicks for goal. Grinter with a left foot earlier, and now Peter Rode. On course number one. Stretch actually was the ruckman. Came over the top. Yates. Jakovic on the turn. Jakovic gets his ninth. Well, he was welcomed back a couple of rounds ago against the Eagles when he kicked six and kissed his brother. But, oh, this is big. Nine goals and a chance for double figures. Well done, Yates, here, too. Unselfishly get the ball forward from the ruck knockout and gave Jakovic a chance for his ninth. It's the sort of team play that wins your matches. Well, a great knock on by Yates. Hit back to position. No mark taken. Comes to Phoebe. Oh, had a choice of three players. Glenn Lovett's the man. Oh, that's poor marking by Collingwood, isn't it? Oh, my word. Lovett deserves a goal. This is his 31st possession, 19th kick. He's fitting if he does kick a goal. What a bath the Demons are giving the Pies. 40 metres out. Goal. Margin was 22 at quarter time, 33 at half time, 49 at three quarter time. Towards Grinter, now Brett Lovett, Alan Richardson, oh, straight to the boundary line, that's deliberate. You've got to disguise it a little bit better than that. <laughs> and he knows it. Now, chipping it across his Yates, oh, look at this. And the mark, easy as you like, taken by Scott Simmerstadt, playing his first game for the Demons. 
started uh, in defence, was benched. He's about to kick his first goal in the AFL. Well, he's a good size of a player and he kicks the ball very well. Well, we noticed that early in the game, he's kicking the ball 60 metres nearly yes. every time. So Simister directly in front. His first goal in AFL football. He stabs at it. I think he's kicked it all right. He's happy. Yes, a goal. His first, as we said, 160 to 108. Yes, Neil Barham would be very, very pleased with his players today. The ball's gone the wrong way for the Demons. It's gone Collingwood's way to Fraser, and Fraser gets a consolation point. It's a big win to the Demons, 160 to 108, 109. What a flogging Melbourne have given Collingwood.